so here is my current github portfolio okay and as you can see i have implemented a gif from here that is also taken from a readme maker and uh, those this part is same same or different i don't know uh, i think different yes this part is different now socials icons are a little bit different there are a lot more tech stack and we now have like add of after effects audition premiere pro in it as well and it looks a little bit different then we have notion as well that is my like go to note taking uh, anything like if i have to write down anything i always use notion my go to tool okay then we have github stats but in different color and different theme okay so one of the uh maker will actually provide this as well then we have those all those trophies in some different color a random code and profile view counter so some of them are same some of them are new some of them are totally different okay so this one was the platform that i have shared previously okay this one is the platform where we have all of those things now i have actually found out a few other platform first is this one give her profile readme generator this is like same like this but a little bit different in terms of like uh here you have a lots of thing regarding like uh in this section in specific header section okay you have a lot of things and rather than that you have a lot more option to choose from the skills okay those skill sets like uh, in terms of programming languages front end development back end development and all others they have categorized all of them in a proper manner okay so you can choose a different like thousand kinds of tools from them and use it actually did i have implemented figma here i can't remember okay this is a figma yes figma is here so it is uh, it is like that okay like there are more uh, skills to choose from than this so this is obviously better in terms of skills and we have like more uh, these buttons like social media buttons here as well okay and it has a really great functionality to it that i really love that is it can uh, dynamically pull your recent blogs from your rss feed okay that will be handled by a github function that you have to maintain and the, it can do that from like your personal blog your dev2 blog and mediums as well okay so that is a great thing i would say and something new to be honest so rather than being great it is really something new that they have implemented here and uh, as simple as that like click on generate to me it will uh, generate the whole code then we have this one which like from it i took this particular gif okay gif or gif whatever you want to call it it's graphic so it's probably gif so here you have e but here here you have like a intuitive editor to edit all of the things that you like okay so here you have like uh in in the intro section you are you have like full blown uh what you see what you get just make it short that editor and you can completely edit it here rather than something like this one so i would in terms of writing stuff i would obviously prefer this one because this is more user friendly rather than developer friendly because i can simply suppose click on this and click on just bold and it will do it for me do that bit for me okay do that okay yeah, it is bolding making everything bold so that is not required and you can like uh gives the field also on him that is also possible now here's another thing uh that is obviously statistics card as him statistics actually statistics cards are not uh the plus point of this one but uh, rather than anything else and here also you have a lot of lot of options to choose from and i really love the layout they have chosen to
to categorize it like i would have preferred this way of categorization in my portfolio as well which i will consider later on not right now but obviously later on okay so that's the thing uh, that's another thing not just you that's another thing then in connect with me section uh, i do i would not say that it is too much full but it's limited in the github stats section you just have to like uh, give your uh, name uh, uh, user id and it will detect it automatically but uh, we have a uh, three uh, like two variants active stats and language stats that's it but in general if you go to my uh, github page you will see that we have active state streaks and uh, language most used though i am not a python developer but i am into some of the projects which include a lot of python code but i am not a python developer at all so it is detecting wrong what can i do about that nothing then in recent blog section you can obviously add show portfolios over here but what i really loved about it is the spotify connect section as you can see the animation over here that is happening right now and you can like paste uh, any code uh, from here uh, from in here and as, as well as connect with your spotify to get the particular song this is something that i haven't seen in any of the rain editors to be honest okay now we have our normal visit counter that we can see over here and normal support uh, you can meet the people using them and that's it now this the another card now uh, which one of them i have found to, like most useful or most like uh, based or whatever uh, you want to give it the superlative degree which you like you can give it that is this one so here to get started we you have to type in your github user then you will uh, you can start and you can like write something about you over here okay then click on next now here is the actual magic here you can see all of the github stats you can choose whatever theme you like from here suppose i want this material theme material play, pale night okay i want this thing maybe i want high contrast i can choose that as well and maybe i don't want borders i will just click unclick the borders all of the borders are gone maybe i want a uh, lifetime comments okay so it will start showing that see it is uh, no, regenerated maybe i want to include private comments so it will again regenerate that see so all of those uh permissions and combinations can be possible from here that i really love, really really loved about particularly this site like this is awesome i am really really excited about this okay and as you can see i have used it as well now what next so let's click on next and here you have your usual social medias which i think uh, this one has the best one like a lot of social medias it is giving you the option of to add uh, so i will give that full marks now let's click on next here are the language section that you can choose from here and here are two many languages that you can choose from now theme you can choose theme as uh, for the badge flat square or plastic so if i choose flat it will look something like this if i choose flat square it will look something like this if i choose plastic it will give us that 3d look so we can choose different kind of uh, theme that we like okay now clicking on next obviously you can add four of your uh, contribution medium to it like uh give uh, buy me a coffee paypal patreon and kofi all of them and that's uh and no there is this this thing as well so here are the trophy things 
and here you can click on add trophies to add the trophy keep in mind to click on this thing otherwise it will not add it and suppose i don't want the border so i will just click on it to uh, disappear and i don't want the backgrounds as well so i will click on that and here also i can choose the theme that i would like it's too light for me wait dark half yeah see i can get this uh visitor counter you can choose your color from here even the icon style from here as well code which which thing is changing i have to show it to you like which particular thing is changing if i click on bar see this one is changing default this one is changing particular this thing is changing cursor see and obviously you have to click on this now some things you can add that is uh, random quotes if you can if you want to add and random memes as well okay and you can choose themes here as well there are there aren't too much too many things but you see you can choose from here and you can choose the layout as well okay centralized layout or one sided so you can choose both of them from here as well this also looks good yeah, i will stick with that now that's basically it and it will give you a overview of what you have created till now and you can see all of the things that i have created over here now i can simply copy from here or download it as markdown file or create a new file now this is one thing i really don't like about it like see it just got back to the total home page and if i go to this again i have to start it again so there is no undo process so this is one thing i really don't like about it okay rather than that uh, whatever it is providing is super class to be honest so those are actually the four of the github readme maker which i have used but in a mix and match pattern i have mixed all of them and used all of them so that's basically it about this video i don't know which one you will use and i would say don't use single one of them use all of them that would be better so that's it from this video if you know about like if you know another great platform like this like if you know something more or uh, beautiful or cool like this like better than this please let me know more about them and rather than that if you like my videos in general or if you uh like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment down below whichever portion you are liking or not and share it with your friends to boost up the youtube algorithm so that's it from my side bye